I hope this doesn't give me food poisoning. I am coming for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wonder what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke.
if it wasn't for the war, I bet he could have been a great scientist. You don't have to chit chat to be a scientist. I oh, know. Trust me. I oh, know. to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Hello? Anyone out there? What the hell? Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes and in return you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? 
because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy and it like flips a switch and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! I think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. Locked. Aha, uh -huh. but I remember how to make a lock pick. They have gossamer wings, just like in books. But didn't we go to school together? Miss Bing's class. Don't go opening people's boxes just because they're not looking, okay? Mind the side effects. Ooh, but there's a big one. We don't mention, isn't there? A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. I lied for you today at 4.15. Shh! That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Shh! did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red, and and her voice was like mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry, but I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you, Arthur. I love you too.
I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. Welcome to the bloody garden <laughs> district. What a waste of time. At least there are flowers out here. At least you can drink from the pumps here. I can see you. No one likes a lurker. At least we have our memories, right? Stay away from the ones of the plague. It's a terrible way to die. Hello. I better not catch you getting into my stuff. Been a while, hasn't it? Stay where I could see you. No one likes a lurker. you holding up if you get a cut out here you'd better bandage it up you can get an infection just from a scratch Last forever, does it? I I try not to talk about the kids, what we did to them. But sometimes I can't help it. be when I grew up. I can't remember. Isn't that awful? A lovely rotten potato. I'm not sure I want to eat it. Oh God! That smells awful in here. I 
Well, that's a convenient story, isn't it? The Germans rounded up the kids at gunpoint, did they? So much better than what we actually did, isn't it? I should make some bandages, just in case. Well, that's terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. My mother always told me that I had to miss the boy. I can't believe I'm doing this. Sam, man.
Rose of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. A water pump. Nice. There's a few more in the Garden District, aren't there? This ought to be pretty clean, unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds, otherwise I'll never feel better. anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. Some scientist had told me Percy was actually from Mars, I'm not sure I'd have disbelieved him. Berries! They grow all over the Garden District, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. Or we'll find a cleverer way in.
hope I can think of no good reason to go into a camp full of heavily armed delinquents. And I hope I never have one either. you do when the memories come back? Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> You won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die. Then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those Bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back from here. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk, and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny, they thought it was. No, oh, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have can store most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. Look at that. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here.
I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Fred? A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I could write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. So we'll leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. You got me sacked from the old current. I, uh, I, I don't remember that. I, I, I don't work there anymore. You thought one of my articles was insufficiently original. Danny Defoe. You, you've lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other 
We'll just give the other chaps some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Hey, sort of guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's gonna come on strong with that lead pipe. You gotta wanna block that. I've got a sinking feeling. Oh god, this on. Oh god. Sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motelling dispenser. That chap at the bridge. I suppose now then, I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd.
Please don't make a fuss. Sorry to bother. Resublimated dimotoline, the fuel of the future now. That's everything I had when they jumped me. to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. I 
if I crouch, I bet I could disappear into those bushes. Just relax. Don't question it. What have we come to? It works. I feel loads better. 